previously on Darkness Falls. Today, we're going to go into coil crafting. Coil shotgun is going to be level 51. Oh! Loving this gun already? Why are you going off in that distance? I haven't got a clue. Oh, here they come. Let's turn on everything here. Oh, we got some errors going on. I don't like it. I'm getting a lot of errors. Oh, no. Don't do this to me, game. Welcome back to Darkness Falls and you join me on day 37. And if you didn't join me last time for Horde Night, we managed to make it to level 82, which means that we can actually unlock coil crafting level 2. This means we can now make the coil carbine, the coil sniper, and also the coil rounds. So we're going to do that today because I feel like this is going to streamline our kind of weaponry a little bit more so I'd have to like switch to many different weapons I'm just gonna have three weapons the sniper the carbine and the coil shotgun as well so to get started I need all the parts I need the coil gun parts and I think I'm gonna need like two of these right each so one for the sniper rifle and one for the carbine and then we're gonna need to make these two items for the sniper rifle and then obviously the barrel and the receiver for the carbine so let me get all these pieces and get ourselves some new guns there's two grips two parts and it looks like i'm a little bit short on the oil here i'm gonna just grab the oil shell and also like the cans here and we'll craft a few up as well i'm not sure how much oil i can get hopefully we can craft enough at least to make our guns all right let's stop this first uh let's see oil let's grab that nine uh i think we may be a little bit short hang on so if this is gonna take wait how many we've got here so we've already got those so the coal barrel we're gonna need five here five so we're gonna have ten already so i'm assuming the carbine is gonna need some here as well uh we're gonna be a little bit short so we're crafting not eight here so we're not even gonna get the other gun as well so Best make the trip to the desert and get some more oil. And then uh, hopefully I won't die getting oil this time. So let me put all this crap back and let's head over to the desert and get a little bit more oil, shale. And um, we'll come back and we'll craft both the sniper rifle and also the carbine as well. I think the other thing as well that we need to do is we need to make mods for the vehicles as well. As well as making a faster vehicle. I don't know what the fastest vehicle in Darkness Falls is, but we definitely need to make a quicker one. And then on top of that, we also need to add a couple of mods as well. So like the supercharger mod and then maybe the reserve fuel tank mod as well. Just to make things a little bit faster. Because if we're going back and forth... We're wasting a lot of time throughout the day just getting stuff. And yeah, we can't afford to waste any more time. Now, where was that oil shale? Oh, I found it. I found it right here. I should really bookmark this place. Get out of the place. Get out of here. Bloody vultures. Right, so I do not want the same mishap as last time. So we'll take the robotics turrets down and... Uh, we'll take these two. I don't need the nail gun. Right, let's... I bloody done it again. I've forgotten my darts, haven't I? All right, well, I guess we just got to rely on the coil sniper. Hopefully, hopefully I won't die. I mean, the best thing I could do as well is maybe I should just quarry this out. So instead of actually digging myself a hole, I should just quarry it. And then that way, if anything does come by, I should be able to get out quick sharp, right? Yeah, let's just do that. Let me just quarry this out and um, get some oil shell. And hopefully we'll get enough to make ourselves the gas, uh, the oil cans. Well, that's already over 6,000, which is more than what I need. And that literally took only about well, less than five minutes. Let's head on back. Let's get these oil cans. Let's get these guns. Okay, home sweet home. Uh, let's get those cans out the cupboard here. Let's grab some of those. And then uh, let's see, how many oil did we have here? We've got three here, which is obviously not enough. 
And then over here, we had nine being made. So that's 12. We need another eight going. So eight more. That gives us our 20. Let me cancel that and we'll start it afterwards. And then we'll just save the rest for another time. And then that way we're never short. I mean, we're not short on gas either. So we can cook those up another time. Right. So that's all the cans of gas. Oh, cans of oil even. So that's going to take a few minutes there. Or oh, a couple of minutes. And in the meantime, whilst that's cooking up, I also want to look at armor. Because we have been running around with padded armor. And like I said a couple of episodes ago, padded armor is not going to cut it anymore. Again, way more tankier. Way... So whilst the oil is crafting, I do need to make the ammo as well. Wait. Do we have a... Oh, I think we got a roaming horde. Oh, we definitely do. Okay, let, let's let's go say hi to the roaming horde. Let's just clear off these guys off. Hello, roaming horde. Hello. Right here. Come here, buddy. Right here. Yeah. You focus on that. Everybody else come over too. Yeah, you run over those spikes. I don't, I don't know why you took out that tree. Clearly not a naturist. And that takes care of that. Nice. Anyway, let's focus on the ammo. As I was saying, we need to make the coil rounds as well. So this is going to take bullet tips, bullet casings, and coil battery. Now, if I look in my bullet crafting here. Yeah, we've got the coil battery. We need to make the bullet tips. And uh, I don't think we made anything else right. So we need to make the bullet casings and then the bullet tips. So the bullet casings I need. Uh, just iron and clay, which we have plenty of since I did a little bit of mining here. So we'll grab all this and then we'll just plunk this in here somewhere. Wherever's empty. That's not empty. Oh, actually, I've been crafting some already. I totally forgot what I was doing that already. Right, we'll take that back. Uh, let's put that back in there. Let's put that back in there. And then we just need the bullet tips which also need clay. So let me grab this back. Right, bullet test. Do we have an empty slot anywhere? Let's have a look in here. This is crafting steel. Uh, This can wait a little bit. Right, bullet tips. Tips, 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 tips. Right, we'll grab that. We'll do, I don't know, let's just do like 3,000, I guess, just for now. And then the rest we can make into steel, right? And we'll just re queue the steel. I think I have like 500 or something. I don't remember. Right, so that's going to take a little bit of time. But I think we have a few rounds here. So we've got a couple of rounds here that we can use. 130 rounds. That's not a lot. But it's enough for a sniper rifle at least. We can rely on the uh, coil shotgun just for the time being. Right then. So that's the ammo out of the way. Let's have a look at this. All right, we've got 20 now. Nice. Let's grab them and then pop them back in here. So we just need the uh, coral carbine here. And then, oh yeah, the steel, which is right here. And then we need the receiver. So the barrel, the receiver. And then we just need the sniper as well. So we need the barrel and then also the receiver. Oh, yes. So that's going to take a few minutes. And then once they're crafted, let's put them all together. So whilst we're waiting, let's look at the mods for the vehicles as well. So I did mention that we need to make them a little bit faster and also maybe a little bit more efficient as well. So let's just scroll down and see what we have. So we can do the vehicle supercharger mod here. Uh, maybe the, oh, definitely the fuel saver mod, uh, armor plating mod, and maybe the fuel tank mod. So what do all these take? Steel, glue, mechanical part, spring, duct tape, polymer, Leather, you know what, let me just grab everything here and then we'll just see what we can make. So leather, glue, polymer, duct tape, springs. All right, we'll grab everything here. Let's have a look at the mods. Oh, uh, looks like I can't make these in the normal workbench. I need the mechanics workstation. Okay, so what do we need to make the mechanics workstation? Actually, I have everything here. Great. Although that is really expensive in mechanical parts. We might not be able to make the mods at all at this rate. We're going to run out of mechanical parts before we can actually make anything else. That's going to suck. Ugh, I think we're going to have to go out and do some wrenching to get all the mechanical parts. Man, I am so unprepared today. 
Although, that's not different from any other day. I'll tell you what I could do, though, is I could actually open all these up, right? So if I open all these up, this will give me bullet tips, right? I hope. What does that give me? Yeah, it gives us bullet tips. So I can actually open all these 762s. Get the bullet tips back. That's going to help me. That's going to save a lot of time in just because, like, crafting the bullet tips themselves. So that's going to save me some time. And then I can craft the coil uh, 762s as well. By the way, if anybody knows of a better way I can open all these 762s, please let me know in the comments. All right, 607 bullet tips later. <laughs> That was a lot of like pressing A to open, right? But now we can make this though, right? So if we go into the metal working station, I believe it is, and then we go coil rounds. Yeah, so we can just craft all this. This will make 500 rounds. Nice. And uh, as you can see, I've already crafted some uh, shells as well. Lovely. So that's going to stock up our coil shotgun very nicely. And then, yeah, this is only going to make me 500 rounds, but it'll be enough for a tester. And then I can obviously make some uh whilst we're waiting for the next day so let's see if our guns are ready and that is just about cooked awesome so let's grab all these that means now i can make the coil sniper and i can just do that in the workbench so let's do coil yeah so we got the coil sniper and then we also got the coil carbine as well although the coil carbine is level 41 can we boost that a little bit let's have a look does this go in gun crafting? If I pump this into gun crafting, is this going to give me... Yep, level 51 coal carbine. Nice. All right. So that's already crafted. That didn't take long at all. Holy crap. That's already crafted. It literally took like less than 20 seconds. I swear. <laughs> and then we have the coil carbine. Done in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 lovely jubbly wow let's have a look at these babies let's just fire around off that is loud and then the sniper rifle i'm assuming this is pretty loud as well let's just say hi to that guy can i do that i should probably put a uh scope on this boy now i've just attracted a zombie that's gonna hammer my wall let's let's just go kill him off all right you I mean, it sounds beefy. I still don't know how the damage works out, though. All right, well, with those two crafted, now I can concentrate on modding them up. So I can take all this off now, right? And I can t also take these off for the mods on the uh, Winchester. And then we can put these on here, right? So put that on there, put that on there, put that on there. And then also magazine extender. Yeah, sure, why not? We can make another magazine extender in a second. And then put the silence on here. And... Oh, we have a guest here. Wait, give, give, give me one second, folks. One second. I mean, that works for me. <laughs> okay, so Cole's guns, all three of them, are done now, which means I actually don't need the other guns then. So let me put all these back here. Uh, let's just put the range here. I don't need the Winchester anymore. I don't need the automatic rifle. And I don't need the compound crossbow either. I think from now on, I don't think I'm going to do any more sneaky sneaky as much as I need to. I just need those three guns and we're golden. I also think eventually as well, I don't think I'm going to use the robotic turrets because they just take too much inventory space. Uh, it takes. I have to carry all the darts with them as well. It's just a bit of a pain in the bum, but we'll use them just for the time being. If I feel comfortable, then uh, I'll put them away. If not, then we'll keep, just keep using them. But whilst that was all being crafting away, the mechanic station has also been crafted as well. So let's uh, just put this down somewhere that makes sense. I mean, it doesn't make sense that this is on the roof, but it's here anyway. And then we just need to make the mods, right? Let's have a look at the mods here. So the fuel charger mods here. Can I not craft this? Oh, yeah, yeah. As I figured, this is going to take a lot, a lot of mechanical parts. Oh uh, dear. I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go out and start doing a bunch of wrenching just to get the mechanical parts. So might as well just go around town. Maybe we can go around, get a few cars, uh, maybe around here. I don't know, where wherever we can find it. And hopefully we can get enough mechanical parts to make all these like 
mods that I need. So what do we need here? So we need like the supercharger mod, which is like 80 mechanical parts here. The plating, which is another 20 here. The fuel saver mod, which is all, uh, which is another 50 here. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot, a lot of mechanical parts. Let's go around town and see what we can find and what we can gather up. And uh, also, let me put all this junk back as well. We're not gonna need these anymore. So after all that, I managed to get 155 mechanical parts, but as you can see, we managed to get a butt ton of engines as well. And if I scrap these boys, they give me 30 each. So if I just scrap a few engines here, that's going to give us more than enough mechanical parts to craft our mods. All right. So I'm going to wait for these to all get scrapped and then we'll craft all the mods that I needed for the vehicle. And hopefully we get a more efficient car. Okay. Finally, finally got all my mechanical parts. Right, we got, okay, finally, we got all the mechanical parts done and all the duct tape that we need and all the leather and all that kind of rubbish. Right, so let's make some mods here. So let's do the supercharger mod here. Let's do the armor plating mod as well. And then there was a fuel saver mod as well, right? Uh, fuel saver mod, what does this take? This takes some more glue. Do we have any more glue coming? We have a couple more glues to come. Let me grab this and then we'll queue up the fuel saver as well. It has literally taken me all night to make three bloody mods, but they're done now. They're crafted. Let's stick these on the car. Hopefully this is going to make it a lot more faster. So let's just open this up. Three mods. Exactly. Lovely. Let's also, whilst we're here, let's refuel this. That's done now. Right, so I feel like I've done nothing this whole episode other than craft some guns, right? And then also craft some mods. And that's it. That's all I've done. I feel like we need to reward ourselves with some zombie killing. So why not test our car, head over to Eve, grab a quest, and let's just go on a murder rampage with our new gun and our new vehicle. Although I do remember that... We picked up a quest way, way over yonder. Actually, this is perfect. I'm glad we upgraded the car. Hopefully, we can get there quick, sharpish, and it, hopefully, it doesn't take us too long. 4K away, though. Holy crap. This might take a minute. And, of course, there had to be a mountain in the way. Of course. Naturally. Why wouldn't there be? Ooh. Snow. Oh! No, 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 don't like this. Come on. Come on. Get back into the forest. Don't like it at all. Wow. Okay. That came out of nowhere. Oh, wow. How are we going to do this? Well, that sucks, doesn't it? Don't tell me that wasteland goes all the way around. Can we go around the side? Ooh, look at that demon thing. That little portal thing. Ugh, right. Let's see if we can scoot the outskirts of the wasteland here and get to that quest. I don't fancy dying in the wasteland here. Ah, but actually, it wasn't that bad, actually. The, uh, the snowbound is right here. Oh, thank God for that. I thought I was going to have to go miles and miles. Ah, oh, we made it, thankfully. I actually didn't take too long. I mean, the wasteland bit was a bit sketchy, but that didn't take too long. That's not too bad. Right, before I go any further, let me just top myself up here. Uh, let's do some repairs. All right. Uh, this is going to get reloaded. This is going to get reloaded. I seem to have guests somewhere. Where are you? What the hell? Where are you guys at? Underneath? Wow. You guys, you guys woke up underneath me. I was not expecting that at all. Uh, how am I going to do with this? Do I just like let them up maybe? Let me uh, let me deal with this lady first. And let's deal with all these boys and girls right here. I hear electrifying and everything. You are feral. You can lie down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Thank you. 
I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to open this, right? And hopefully they make it out. I don't know how to deal with this. They shouldn't be waking up already. Unless I reset it. Can I reset this and then um then they all go back to their sleeping positions? Is this how is would that work? Will that work? Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with this. Uh, we could go down maybe and just see what happens. They are kind of getting close already though. They're already breaking through. My worry is that if I reset the quest, these guys are not going to reset and they're still going to be active. So I might as well wait for them to come up, right? And then deal with them. I mean, it's additional XP at the end of the day as well. Yeah, let's see if we can say hi to them at least. Holy crap. What is going on? What is going on? You know what? Screw it. Can't, can't wait all day. Can't wait all day. Let's just do this. They're going to be bashing in forever. Uh, Open this door. Can I break this open? Oh, I can't. Oh! I need card keys. Is that what it is? Well, that's bugging up everything, hasn't it? Uh, right. So I think I'm gonna have to go back, get the card keys, and then, uh, and then open this up. Oh, God. Well, I wish somebody told me earlier. I'm gonna have to bloody waste my time driving all the way back. 4K! Oh, unbelievable. Can't believe it. Can't believe that I needed to get my key cards first. Wherever they bloody are. Where are they? Where are they? Right here. I can't believe I had to do that. I mean, it'd be great if, you know, the quest actually said that. Like, DF Military Bunker, please take, you know, your key cards or whatever. Oh, I really, I really hope the key cards work. If I get there, I'm a little bit scuppered what, what to do. Oh, unbelievable. What a waste of time. <laughs> right, round two. Right, let's try this again. Unbelievable. Let me also get rid of all these buggers as well. <laughs> they've they've already woken up. I don't I don't understand how they can hear me. Oh, that can't be right. They should not wake up until I get down there. Anyway, let's see if this works. So if I start this, yeah, they're still active. So I need to retrieve the White River supplies, which is 50 meters away, which is not that far away actually. What's going on? Wait, wait, wait. is it right by the door? Nine, eight. Five. Everything is really close here. Do I need to... I don't like this at all. Wait, can I open this? How do I open this? Blue card? Blue card, right? Blue card. Oh, green card. It's a green card. Okay, okay, okay. Green card. That's unlocked. Okay, here goes nothing. That is a lot of zombies. Okay. Round we go. Okay, out we go. Out we go. Out we go. Out we go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. And we're going to deal with this as they come up. Any more? Yeah, they're coming. They're still coming. Woo. Calm down, love. Although I feel like we've cleared out most of them, though. Oh, yeah, they're still coming. They're still coming. I'll be with you in a minute, folks. <laughs> Let me clear all this off. Oh, no, 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 no. Screamer. Didn't scream, though. We're good, we're good, we're good. That was kind of lucky. Because uh, otherwise we'll be in a world of trouble. I am so glad I crafted all this shotgun ammo. Tell you what. Okay, well there's still plenty more down there. Are they coming around? They seem to be filtering all the way through. You know what? I'm just going to stand here all day until we kill them all off. Tough lab technician. No joke there. Come up the stairs. Oh, they bust the stairs. They've broken the stairs. So they can't actually get out. This Will this work out to my advantage? Or will this be my death? Let's get down here. This is probably going to be my death. Wait, wait, wait. 
There must be a better way to do this. Right, you know what? Let's grab a ladder here. Let's help them up a little bit, maybe. Let's rotate that. Let's put that right there. Maybe let's put... I uh, no. Anything else? I'm gonna die here. I swear I'm gonna die right here. Come on. Come on, tough lady. Okay, she's down. I still need to make sure that no zombies come from the top as well. Alright, I've put some ladders down. Hopefully they'll come up now. Hopefully. Wait, are you guys gonna figure it out? So there's like, what, four zombies left or something? And there's like five over there. You know, I think we're gonna have to go down. Yeah, we're gonna have to go down. Although they broke the stairs here, so I'm gonna have to help them along here. Stairs. And also help myself as well. Can I put this like here? Let's grab the loot here. Can I grab this? I can't grab this. I'm gonna struggle here. Uh, yep. Yeah. I'm right here. I'm right here. Right here. Maybe I can do this. Maybe we can do this. Let's uh let's block this off right here. Like that. Can I put that there? Yeah, we can put that there, right? I'm kind of struggling, folks. Guys, I'm really struggling. I don't know what to do here. Can I grab this? Right. So I'm right here. So they should Yep. Perfect. So they should come around, alright? And if they come through, I can jump on the stairs. Reload. Any more? So they're gonna come around? Yep. Yeah. Here they come. Up they come. That's one. Alright, that's two. Let's just keep them coming here. Let's grab this one. Get out of the way. Come on. One at a time. One at a time. This is probably the toughest retrieve the supplies I've ever bloody done. I also think that maybe we have... Guess above? No, no guess above. All right, we're still clear. They're still downstairs though. Come on. Oi! Up we go, up we go, up we go, up we go. Oh. How many bloody rounds do I have to go through here? Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. Where are you? Ah, oh, crap. Where are you coming from? She screamed. Where is she? She screamed, but no zombies. Interesting. I am so scared here, folks. I have no idea what to do. Let's get down here again. Let's do the same again. Actually, you know what we can do here? We'll, we'll do one more block here we'll do a gate let's place this round can we do this no we can't do this okay guess we're gonna have to like wait for them to come through again come on you are going down 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 get down get down get down lady get down you too oh. you can stay there stay there stay there Thank you. Got a sprain. Luckily, I have a splint, right? Yeah, I got one splint. Let's use that. Also, let's use one steroid. Just help me uh, have any critical injuries here. You know what? You can suck it. Have some of that. Take all those rounds. You're going to break that block, are you? Yep. Yeah. Come on. You can stay there. Stay there. Stay there. That block's going to break soon. Yep, here we go. Come on. All right. And how many more left? How many more left? Got that room over there. And then potentially screamers. <laughs> All right, we'll put a security gate down there. Let's see how many come across. This is so tough. Holy moly. How many more? Five over there. One over there. One over there. And we got to scream already. Oh, no, no, no. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Okay, we're clear. I can't believe we have to do this like twice over. Maybe the darts would have been better if I came, um, if I brought the dart turrets. Okay, we've got another one coming in. Alright, I think one side is clear. So now, I gotta break this open. 
I think they're caught on another door somewhere, right? Yeah, so all this is open now. Oh, wait. So those are those two. Okay, we open this one. Is this green as well? Okay, so that's open now. Let's open this. Oh, we got some military guys right there. Whoa! Shoot, 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 shoot. I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. Oh! Holy crap! We got some more! Okay, you know what? Let's wait a little bit. Holy crap, I am definitely, definitely not ready for this. Definitely not ready for this, I think. I think, folks, we have to focus on surviving here. We're gonna have to abandon this quest for the time being. We definitely have to come back. I am so ill-prepared for this. I think what we're going to have to do is focus on the armor, come back, bring our dart traps. Oh, I'm not really prepared for that kind of level of, like, zombies at all. You just have to know when to cut your losses. And I think I'm definitely cutting my losses here. Let's go back home, rethink our strategy, and, uh, yeah, revisit this quest, but... Man, that was rough. I was definitely, definitely not ready for that. Well, guys, if you have any tips on how to deal with those quests, I think we're finally getting to, like, the main part of Darkness Falls. If you guys have any tips, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this episode, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button as well. And I shall catch you next time when hopefully I'll have a little bit more armor. <laughs> Peace, folks.